Hi everyone, my name is Samantha and welcome to my YouTube channel Sewing in Switzerland. So today is a fun one. Vogue from the Big Five have dropped their new uh, fall or autumn patterns. So I thought we could take a look and see what everyone thinks. First impressions are, it's a little bit underwhelming. It's not very cohesive at all. So you kind of looking at it and it's quite like in your, like it's just a bit confusing it's a bit confusing i don't really know what is happening there's no storyline um there's no real kind of showstopper either but there are a couple of not bad ones on there so i thought we'd go through a couple that are pretty good and then uh finish up with one that is just oh, a disaster a total disaster so the other thing worth mentioning is they do have some remastered um vintage patterns on there but they seem to be missing the line diagrams at the moment so i don't know if they're gonna update those now them in but it's all just it's just a bit unfinished is the vibe i'm getting from it to be honest so uh the other thing i wanted to mention it's more like a trigger warning for their website um to be perfectly honest they're still doing the flattery shape diagram. So on the simplicity like dot com website, if you click on a pattern, it'll come up with, you know, a uh, skill, easy, average, intermediate, blah, blah, blah. And then underneath it, it'll say something like flattery guide. Ugh. And then it's got like these images of different shapes. So one's like an hourglass. Um, and it's one's like a triangle, the other one's like an inverted triangle. And it's just, oh, it's nonsense. And you're supposed to like match the pattern to your body shape. And it's just, oh, it's all a bit cringe. It's very uncomfortable. You know, we're not shapes. <laughs> it's all a bit ridiculous. So, I really don't like that. I really loathe that as part of their um, marketing and they're still doing that in 2023. So, so you know, just be aware if that's something that you're quite sensitive to because they do feature that on their patterns. So let's have a look at the Vogue drop. So the first one, okay, the first one, usually you get like a, an impression and it's like, love it, hate it, meh, it's okay. This one, I have been on a bit of a pendulum really I've swung from one end to the other first I I looked at it first and I thought no it's hideous and then I looked at it again and I was like god I love it <laughs> so I'm not sure where I stand so it's a v1967 and it's one of the Rachel Comey ones and as a designer she's a bit like Mimi G she's got some really great patterns and then some real shockers and you just think oh no what is this so this one, do you know, when I first saw it, I thought it just, it looks too top heavy. So it's got this gorgeous kind of chunk of fabric, for want of a better word, here. And then it's got almost like this bias cut dress that is super simple. So it just didn't, it just didn't sit right, you know. It just seemed like there was not enough going on down here or too much going on up here. So, as always, I'll put the pictures up so you can see and, you know form your own thoughts and opinions and do please share them with me because it's the favorite part of my day when i get a message so yeah i'm not quite sure and then the back so the back i actually really love it's got this kind of almost triangular shape where the bodice and the the back zipper and the skirt kind of all meets and it's just it's stunning and you know what looking at it it's something that i could imagine meg ryan in like a 90s film wearing in either like a statement kind of pink taffeta or something really understated and and loose so yeah i've kind of i've looked at it a few times and each time i've got a different opinion i'm either yeah that's great or no i hate it so i don't know do you love it or do you hate it it's kind of marmite and i'm not fixed on a position yet so yeah i do feel like it's really screaming 90s meg ryan though so yeah let me know what you think so the next one huge fan 
it's v194 and it's bell bottoms and they are kind of pretty much a replica of the barbie film cowgirl outfit right with the jeans she's wearing these pink jeans and then she's got this kind of bell bottom flare with like a different patterned fabric so yeah i think if you were gonna barbie cosplay or barbie halloween absolutely go for it i think you could really get almost like a direct replica with these apart from the uh the i think they're a little bit low-waisted on the barbie ones off the top of my head but i think they're fantastic i actually really like them in the models picture there's one version that's like in a red kind of slight stretch denim it looks and another one in a kind of pleather style trouser which i never would have paired that fabric with these trousers but you know what i like it i do like it so looking at the photos kind of up close the back dart above where their bottoms are is a little bit ropey like it looks like it could do with a really good press like you kind of look at it and you get a bit of a twitch in your eye you know like it, it's just not quite finished i do kind of feel that way about this collection actually it's just not quite finished you know so i just really want to give the trousers a really good press so yeah but overall pretty good actually they're fun you know they're not taking themselves seriously it's it's nice you know i'm a fan so next one v1971 love this absolutely love this but there's always up. I will say it's nothing new you know there's tons of other coat patterns out there from the big five that are you know incredibly similar to this one so whilst I do love it I would make it absolutely 100% I really want to make a version with like a faux fur collar but maybe like a pink faux fur collar I think that would look amazing but you know we've seen many iterations of this before and I think what we're seeing at the moment with with the Vogue release certainly is the kind of they're producing patterns that yeah are not new they're they're not you know things that we haven't seen multiple times before but there's also no kind of story to it. I feel like if this collection had gone in a direction and you could kind of track that direction through storytelling, through the garments, that would be fantastic. And then maybe one or two real showstoppers um, included in that. And that you can kind of get behind, you know. Yeah, it's a little bit samey. We've seen it before. But look at this story that it's giving us. Look at this, you know, information that we're kind of, the vibe that we're picking up. But there's just nothing with this collection. There's no vibe. There's no emotion. There's no, there's certainly no storytelling behind it, which is a real shame, you know, because I feel like if you're going to produce something that's a little bit similar, then at least give us something to, you know, follow along with, something fun. So this, this, coat is actually really great and i wanted to mention this because it said sewing level easy which i thought was really cool so there's some kind of techniques if you're a beginner that might be a little bit tricky but if it's the sewing level easy i reckon give it a go if you know you're thinking i might make a coat but maybe i don't have the technical skills go for it so this one's lined fitted double breasted it's got princess seams and shoulder pads. So there's a lot to take in there. There's a lot of, you know, skills involved. So maybe, I'm thinking maybe we'll do like a coat sew along um, before the winter period and kind of maybe look at some of these techniques together, especially if you're relatively new to sewing and thinking, oh my goodness, I'd love to make a coat, but it's a little bit overwhelming. So perhaps that's something that we can tackle together. So... The next one, oh, the next one I'm very confused, very confused about. It's V1970. And it's a, uh, yeah, Marcy Tilton design. So we've got two options here. And we've got like a, a jacket. It's like a, more of a shacket, to be honest. And this like 
bizarre patchwork denim and for ages I thought it was like a patchwork jacket and I was thinking oh, cool could get behind that but it's not it's just a fabric choice the fabric choice is this kind of odd patchwork style fabric it doesn't look to be a denim it looks to be much more lightweight than a denim and then you've got this red what I thought was a jacket and I thought they'd done like a two-tone version so we've got like a the same jacket but in red with black sleeves but it's actually a vest so it's like a vest is red and then it's just some sort of black top that she's got on underneath so yeah it took me way longer than what it should have to work out that it was a not patchwork and b the red version didn't have sleeves and also the i mean zoom in zoom in on this one the buttons oh it just looks really, um, gosh, just very slapdash, very unprofessional, very kind of cheap looking, to be honest. So I think this could work, you know, as a jacket, it could work in a different fabric. And on the description, it actually says, I've written it down, vest is designed to layer under jacket, but I kind of don't see that in my mind's eye i don't see how that could work because the neckline of the jacket or the jacket and oh, my voice broke Getting way too into this and the neckline of the vest is very very similar so surely we're just going to get this kind of bulk sat here so i just couldn't really wrap my head about it but in separates do you know what with different buttons vastly different buttons completely different fabrics i think it has potential it has the potential to be a really nice pattern actually but that said it's really difficult to look beyond the styling and the choices that they've made to get to this point so yeah so i'm just seeing what technical information they've got on it so it's a semi-fitted they've called it vest and jacket with princess seams so it doesn't look you know difficult at all it's got the buttonholes i think if you like it give it a go it certainly doesn't look something that would be particularly overwhelming to make so the next one and you'll have to <laughs> you'll have to excuse me my movement is a little bit limited at the moment i've got a pinch nerve in my back so I can't actually do an awful lot. So I'm kind of sitting really still with the occasional kind of spasm. So you're just, I'm afraid you're having to bear with me. And just in case you wondered why I was a bit robotic. So the next one is another Rachel Comey design. And it's V1951. I don't know about this one. It's looking at it immediately. I was like, that is direct knockoff of the Vicky Sews Una dress which is fine fashion is cyclical everyone copies off each other you know we've covered that in the whole Mara Hoffman versus closet core patterns um discussions that we were having in, in the video that I posted up before so you know it is very similar but I think if you're gonna copy a design you've got to make it a design that's already well known and kind of well praised as well actually so i feel like if you're gonna recreate a very very similar design it has to be as good as if not better uh, than as the original pattern that it's you know replicating so yeah the fit on this i would say the fit looks much better on the una dress on the vicky sews version the Rachel Comey one, looking at it, it looks a bit kind of gapy. I know we've got these cutout pieces here, but it just it's just not sitting right. It looks kind of too loose around the back there. So yeah, I'm not a hundred percent sold on that. I my immediate thought was the first the very first thought that went through my head was the Vicky Sews Una is better. So but that said, you know, there's a lot of controversy surrounding the Vicky Sews company uh, being a Russian company and with the current state with the war and whatnot. So there is a lot of uh, contention around the Vicky Sews um, company. So maybe that's one we can deep dive into in another video and, and look at um, the kind of the practices and what's happening and, and you know, the, the basis of that company. 
So I know that a lot of people, I have uh, briefly talked about this, but I know a lot of people will not use them uh, for myriad of different reasons. So that's, that's something we can get into or certainly look at in the future. So my last one, my last one and one that I'm just, not a fan of to the point where I kind of looked at it and I was like how did you get into production like how did we get here so yeah guys it's a real eye-opener so the code is v1975 okay and so my brother used to be a boxer when I first saw this I immediately thought gosh that's a boxing robe right she looks like she's about to get in the ring <laughs> and go you know six rounds it's oh, I don't know if it's the way it's tied it's the the way the model is you know presenting it or if it I think it really is just the pattern and the fabric choice I mean why is there so much beige why did they put her in a head-to-toe loungewear set in beige? Like, why not, you know, break it up somehow? I don't know, but I immediately saw her and thought, oh, God, that's a boxing robe. She's about to get in the ring there. So, yeah, I mean, there's some really fantastic loungewear patterns out there and also patterns that do like a full set like this one so you get the robe you get the top and the the bottoms as well like they exist what they're doing here with the folk is nothing new <sighs> but that's that i mean whatever possessed them to bring this one out knowing how many great loungewear patterns there are out there that exist like I feel like this has gone through so much production and is anybody going to buy this? Like, tell me if you disagree with me, I'm all for it. If you look at it and you think, Sam, no, you're missing a beat here. This is fantastic. This is going to be great. You know, it may be in a different colorway. So yeah, do let me know what you think. But first impressions of this loungewear was even the way, like, I like to zoom in on the pictures, you know, I like to really have a have a nosy the trousers i mean i feel like they they finished these up and like with the bell bottoms as well and just stuck them on a rail for the photo shoot and and nothing got pressed like if you look at the trousers on this one there's like a oh back spasm <laughs> there's like a the where the hem is you know it's just kind of you can see the ripples and the where it's just not been pressed and you've got that kind of bunching on a like you sometimes get up with a knit you know when you do the hem or whatever it just kind of not not folds over itself but you just kind of get that ripple where you put a nice press on it and it'll solve the problem and it just looks like that's been missed you know so I'm like come on like if we're gonna put this we're gonna photo shoot this we've got to be pressing it we've got to be pressing it so yeah I just feel like maybe a bit of the styling was off some of the finishing touches like you know pressing is off there's no storytelling with it you know there's no drama with this there's no real wow this is what it's saying to me it's just all a bit meh. <laughs> meh. could be better was my first impressions so yeah let me know what you think. These are the Vogue fall or autumn patterns for 2023. Just to reiterate, because I can't remember if I said that. <laughs> so yeah, I'm looking forward to your feedback. I love it when people say, no, Sam, this is going to look great in X, Y, Z. And, you know, sometimes they just miss the vision for things and I just can't picture it in my mind's eye. So let me know if you're going to make any. Let me know if any really stand out for you. For me, I think the coat is a strong contender for a winter make, to be honest. Maybe in pink, something, you know, maybe like a a pale pink faux collar with like a hot pink. I don't know. I think, I think it needs some drama in its life, you know, with this pattern. So yeah, I'm looking forward to your thoughts as, as always. If you did like this mm. video, I would very much appreciate it if you would either like and subscribe or, you know, send me a message because it just really makes my day. <laughs> 
So yeah, I wish you all uh, some sunshine and a wonderful day. Thank you so much. See you soon. <laughs> Bye.